वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स क्लास दिस इज चैप्टर इलास्टिसिटी आई हैव नॉट रिसीव्ड मेनी ऑफ योर होमवर्क सो प्लीज बी देयर विद योर होमवर्क एज सुन एज पॉसिबल अदरवाइज वी हैव टू डिटेक्ट द मार्क्स फ्रॉम प्रोजेक्ट सो नो आई हैव डिस्कस टिल स्ट्रेस what is stress just revising stress is defined as deforming force acting per unit area so as you all know that at equilibrium at equilibrium deforming force is equals to restoring force in a body so stress can also be defined as restoring force acting per unit area its dimension i have told you dimension of stress is force mlt minus 2 area is l square so it becomes ml minus 1 t minus ml minus 1 t minus 2 which is also the dimension of pressure now as we move on there are three types of stress three types of stress the first one is known as longitudinal stress so longitudinal stress you have to define what is a longitudinal stress it is defined as stress applied for elongation that is increase in length increase in length of wire rod or body that is known as longitudinal stress so longitudinal stress is stress applied to increase the length of a body say for example if a wire is this or a cylinder or rod is this if i apply a force on this unit area and the length increases and the length increases then it is longitudinal stress this is original length and this is increase in length so this longitudinal stress is also having dimension of stress and it has unit newton per meter square now the second one is i have told you volumetric stress volumetric stress is stress applied to change the volume of body may be gas may be liquid but that is only for changing the volume of liquid this is known as volumetric stress it has also the same unit as that of longitudinal stress or stress and has the same dimension the third one is shearing stress shearing stress or tangential stress this stress acts tangentially to a surface so that its shape changes but volume remains same 
दिस स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेस एक्स tangentially to surface tangential to surface and and volume remaining volume remaining अनचेंज बट शेप चेंजेस शेप ऑफ द बॉडी चेंजेस दिस इज नोन एज शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेस डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट काइंड ऑफ इलास्टिक प्रॉपर्टी इज चेंजिंग If the length changes, it is longitudinal stress. If volume changes, then it is volumetric stress. If the shape changes, then it is shearing stress. Now, there comes another term, strain. What is a strain? Like stress, there is another term, strain. So strain. can be defined as strain is defined as fractional change in the shape or size of the body when stress is applied when stress is applied so strain fractional change means say for example if i am considering length strain is change in length upon original length that is strain change in volume upon original volume that is also strain then angular change is also a strain so if there is a change in in length with respect to original length then it is stress applied is longitudinal stress if there is a change in volume with respect to original volume then it is volumetric stress the volumetric stress is applied and the strain is volumetric strain and then shearing strain if there is angular change in the body so strain strain is dimensionless strain is dimensionless and no unit so strain is of three types strain is also of three types regarding what changes you are observing or what changes you are supposed to take so first one is known as longitudinal strain what is longitudinal strain longitudinal strain is the ratio of change in length change in length to original length this happens only when there is on application of on application of longitudinal stress so longitudinal strain is change in length upon original length this is applicable only when there is longitudinal stress applied next is volumetric strain as the name suggest this volumetric stress is also known as pressure normal stress or pressure 
This is also known as normal stress or pressure. Volumetric strain is ratio of change in volume to original volume. Change in volume to original volume on application of which stress? Normal stress or pressure or volumetric stress. So volumetric strain minus de delta V that is change in volume upon original volume. This can be negative or positive depending on what will be the final volume. If the final volume decreases, then it is final minus initial that will be negative. If final volume increases, then it is positive. So it is changing volume upon original volume. Now the third one is shearing strain. It is the angular change in the shape of the body, in the shape of body when tangential stress is applied or shearing stress is applied. Is applied. So shearing strain is basically angular change and angle is, you can see this, this is a square. If I apply a tangential deforming force, its shape may change. Its shape may change by some angle. This angular change is known as this angular change is known as shearing strain. So this is three types of stress and three types of strain as will be used in the given chapter. Now there is a relation between stress and strain that is explained by Hooks. I have explained this in the concept of potential energy of a spring. This will be there now. In the next video I will start with Hooks law.